Hey guys, it's the Long Couch here, and welcome to episode 5 of Batman's Telltale... Nope, that's not right. Hey guys, it's the Long Couch here, and welcome to episode 5 of Telltale's Batman episode... Nope, still not it. Hey guys, it's the Long Couch, and welcome to Telltale's Batman Season 2, The Enemy Within, episode 5, same stitch. Friggin' nailed it. Guys, there's something really cool about this episode, and uh, I've tried to avoid most information about it, but Telltale really didn't make any secret out of this, so I'm just going to tell you up front. Apparently, this is kind of two episodes in one. It can uh, kind of play out in two really different ways, depending on how much of a buddy you've been to the Joker in the previous episodes. Uh, he can either be a villain or a vigilante hero alongside you, and it really does change like the course of the entire episode from what I hear. And apparently it was already determined in your choices from the previous episodes, so I... I'd like to think that we've been a good enough buddy to him that he's going to be a vigilante hero alongside us. Uh, frankly, that sounds a little more interesting. The traditional Joker villain is always cool to me, but having him like try to be a superhero alongside you kind of sounds awesome too. So I kind of hope we get that one. But other than that, it is the uh, final episode of Season 2. We're going to get some answers here. Is Catwoman going to come back? Is Joker going to be friend or foe? Is Batman finally going to get laid? Is he going to get laid by the Joker? I'm sure there's fan fiction out there. I don't really want to know about it. If you guys missed episode 4, go check it out right here, and otherwise, let's get started. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> At least I am. You can go do whatever the hell you want, I guess. Get the uh, standard disclaimer here that we always get. No, that actually sounded a little villainous. I want you to be there to see it. Today, I'm gonna make Waller and the agency wish they never missed with us. Our fight starts now, Batman. <laughs> stop this. Be careful. Since you defended John, you're on Waller's most wanted list as well. Best keep a low profile. Okay, so we can look at the agency car. Oh no, we moved to it. Let's look at the agents. The agency is out in force. Waller won't leave anything to chance. John humiliated her on the bridge. And then escaped with the virus. Yeah, but that was 100% her fault, as I recall. Waller really is on my shit list, guys. I don't like her. Alright, let's get a closer look here. If I move now, you'll see me. Alright, so let's not move now. Those shotguns pack a punch. Better stay out of his line of sight. Shouldn't I have, like, protection from shock in my bat suit? Like, shock absorbing pads and shit like that? One would think. He did in Batman Begins. You guys remember that? Katie Holmes shot him with a taser and he just pushed that shit off like it didn't matter. Alright, come on. Here we go.
This is like the most. Ooh, right in the butt. Okay, let's look at the let's look at the pretty lady. Automatic weapon. It's extreme, even for the agency. Wallard's desperate. Pretty lady packing a punch. Oh shit. Okay, let's go now. I was gonna say this is the most like this is the most scripted stealth sequence I've ever seen. No way to sneak past this one. I'll need to distract him. Distraction, huh? Okay, lamp post. Parked car. Let's look at them both. Hmm. I could use a bat stunner to fry the light. That should draw his attention. Okay, so that's one option. My bat stunner would set off the car alarm. That should get the guard moving. Get him moving, huh? Hmm. Well, if we take out the light, that gives us more darkness, which is always a good thing as Batman, right? I'm gonna try that one. What the hell? You don't talk? We're gonna end this right now. We ain't giving him up. He cares about Gotham. You're all gonna pay. What you and your agency are doing here isn't right. Ah, tell me where John Doe is. I ain't no rat. That's too bad. Rats have a knack for survival. Kill him. Oh, shit. That was a nice shot. Agents are crazy, Batman. They're gonna kill us. This stops now, Agent. Waller said you'd be trouble, that you'd protect John Doe. But I'm thinking, that can't be right. Doe's a monster. And these clowns here? They call him a hero. That's not what you think, right? John helped the agency arrest Harley Quinn. And then he ran off with a deadly mega virus. Because your boss tried to shoot him. That yeah. is justified. Bullshit. You help them, you're helping him. If you're helping John Doe, you're the enemy too. Fire! Shit me, man. John. <laughs> nope. Better than John. Come on, partner. Time for some justice. <laughs> He's open. Deadly force authorized. Uh oh. We have unlimited batarangs. That was so much fun! Take that! Agency scum! Pigs! Willie! Frank! Lauren! Thanks for hanging in there! Who's hunting who now? You and me, Batman. Fighting crime! <laughs> Together! We make one heck of a team! Don't you think? This is so surreal, man. <laughs> Thanks for your help. What are partners for? Well, John. Yeah. Joker. What? There is no more John Doe. It's Joker now. It's my hero name. Like, you know, Batman. I tr 
tried out a few other ones. Birdman, Hawkman, Fox Batman, The Giggler, Chuckle Master, Lord of the Laughs, and The Joke Man. You know, I like it. Oh, I thought you would. It's a name people are going to remember. We've done good work today, Batman. Waller still doesn't have the virus. We kept the agency from killing my friends. Tried two out of four new moves. Wait a second. Wasn't that Harrison guy, like, right over there? Drop it! Drop the asset! Don't drop the asset. Don't do that. Thanks. Is it Bane? It, it's Bane. Called it. It's a super pissed off, heavily modified, strong Bane. <laughs> <laughs> Bane. You're working with them? Director Waller promised you revenge. Here's your chance. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get out of here! We're not leaving you. Me and Batman, we've got this. Remember, the director wants Batman alive. I don't care what she wants. Do as you're told. <laughs> gotta get that remote. Uh-oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! That was... That was different. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, get him. Punch him. Punch him till he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the venom should have worn off by now. <laughs> well, I made some improvements to the park. Dope. That's, that's gotta hurt him, right? <laughs> Not enough. I would enjoy tearing your head from <laughs> Enough with the monologue. Finish the job. You pitiful little man. Call that monster off. Let go. Get that remote. Don't let him break it. Oh shit. Ah, uh, that. This guy. Yikes. Wow. What's the plan? If you can stop him for just one second, then I can. You've got. Use the car. Drive it into Bane when I give you the signal. Don't die before I'm ready. I think I chose poorly there. No. We can do this my way! Joker! No! Hey, Bane! You've got a little something on your shirt! <laughs> Looked painful. 
painful. No! I will have my revenge. You will pay for killing my friend. What are you? Riddler! Waller told me what you did. You let Batman defeat him, and then you struck like a coward. No, I didn't, Batman. I, I, I didn't. You would work with such a man? A murdering coward? I said I didn't kill him. Waller's a liar. I didn't kill Riddler. Okay. What was that? You... I can't... I, I can't believe you! You shouldn't have stopped me! Don't you remember who this is? Look how many innocent people he's killed! He almost killed you! Again! He just needed one more good stab to an artery, and it would be over! You can't be a killer and a hero. It's one or the other. Says who? Not history! Do you think that... Okay. Okay. Heroes like us don't kill. Even when they're wrongfully accused of murder. Why does Waller think you killed Riddler? I, I don't know. I... She probably did it. She's probably trying to pin it on me. But I didn't. You know that, right? <clears throat> Batman. You're, you're hurt. Stay where you are. You are both under arrest. Get out of here. I need a quick patch-up. And I'm not alone. I'll come to you. Send me coordinates. This is so insane in, like, the best way, guys. If you could see me, if I was playing with a webcam right now, from, like, the second Joker came in, I just had the dumbest grin on my face, <laughs> like the entire time. But I think I made some poor decisions there. I really wanted to save the guy who had the remote because, you know, he had the shock remote, which I thought we were going to need to take out Bane. But also, I didn't want to let Joker's buddy die because that probably would have really pissed him off. And then, like, I don't know why I picked the car to attack Joker with. I feel like the tower would have been, like, cinematically awesome. <laughs> it was just a poor choice. <sighs> Easy. I think it is. <laughs> you must be John. He goes by Joker now. You know who I am? Bruce has mentioned you, yes. Really? What'd you tell him about me? All good things, I hope. Uh. Huh. Alfred knows we're working this case together. That's correct, Batman. Just two professional crime fighters, working the beat. Wow! The Alfred! I've been collecting tabloid photos of Bruce for years, and you're in the background of at least a third of them. You're hurt. <laughs> Let me have a look. <sighs> Let's get this off you. Dag, they got me good. I'll take care of stapling the wound. Can you? I'll prepare the compress. Can I help, Al? They're gonna make me do this myself. You mind if I call you that? Please don't. <laughs> and thank you. This is a one-person job. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, Joker. What's up? New costume, huh? Is that a batarang? What happened after the bridge? Yeah, I want to know all this stuff. You've got a new look. Awesome, right? 
You'd be amazed what you can find in thrift stores. But also on mannequins in fancy stores when no one's looking. Certainly makes an impression. Well, I was aiming for a Batman. But me! Dark and scary. Like my best bud. But also flashy and fun. <laughs> it finally feels like the right skin. Uh-huh. Yeah, so how did you get so good with Batarangs so quickly? Because I specifically remember that we did not let you practice with ours. That looks a lot like a Batarang. A Batarang? No, I don't even see how you think it. Uh-oh. Yeah, maybe. But, but it isn't. It's totally unique. It's a Jokerang. Uh-huh. Warm. Been in my pocket all day. I said I'd throw it a hundred times a day, and I did. I'm a real dead eye now. Oh, well, good work. <laughs> I certainly thought so. Oh, that's actually pretty impressive, and it's actually really creative, making it look like a Joker smile. I, uh, I really appreciate that. <laughs> when you jumped off the bridge, that was one hell of a drop. What happened after? That was crazy, right? <laughs> it seemed like a fast getaway. Terminal velocity and all. Anyway, I hit. Sploosh! And it was dark and cold and wet for a while. Then I ended up grabbing onto some flotsam. Or was it jetsam? No, 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 it was flotsam. Floated on that until I hit the shore, found Frank from the stack deck, and got some dry clothes. Gave me a different outlook, you know? New lease on life. <laughs> Glad it worked out. I should get back to my arm. Of course. <laughs> I don't want you getting gangrene. Yeah, that's the primary concern, is gangrene. Okay. Maybe. Oh, no, I can't disinfect it with that piece still in there. Oh. British before okay. Our... Yank it out. That's boy, gonna have to come out. Boy. Get the queen. Uh, okay, let's use the forceps first. Well, well, this ought to be fun. Your honesty is appreciated. <sighs> so I'm dying to know what was Bruce like as a kid. All right, and then next we want disinfectant. Really? I'm guessing there's no way this doesn't steam. Terrible things he did. I knew it! Oh, damn it. Uh, the production again. This one to go to bed. Even when he was little, he was probably like, No, Alfred. I am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they were subtitling that conversation they're having. That sounds funny. If you hey, Alfred, should do the job. Where does one go to learn butlery? Is there school? <laughs> Is that what the B in MBA stands for? Oh, come on, it isn't. <laughs> <sighs> My father served. Okay. Done. And well, this isn't nearly as bad as the similar scene in The Walking Dead. We've had too much practice as of late. <sighs> Guess it's just one of those Wayne luxuries, huh? Having someone like Alfred to take care of you. You're kind of his ward, huh? Do people still use that word? Hmm. Alfred's always been there for me. After my parents died, he became the person I could count on the most. Everything in the line of duty? Sure, Al. You guys are so cute. Alfred, I kind of got hurt in that scuffle, too. Do you think... Uh... Oh, come on, it's hardly a... Please. Hmm. It's Waller. Batman. We know what you did, Waller. You're gonna regret. Sorry. Sorry. So you're with our mutual friend. Good. It'll make this convenient. I want John Doe. Joker. <laughs> John Doe and the virus. In two hours. Or I go public with your identity. 
Uh oh. I don't want to burn you down, Bruce, but I will. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to play nice with her anymore. Go to hell, Waller. Oh, grow up, Bruce. The virus, your Joker, at the GCPD. Two hours. You kill me. Kill me or turn me into a slave like Bane. And look what happened to him. I don't want to have some maniac stab Waller me. won't stop coming after you until she gets the virus. But we can't give it to her. We have to destroy it. We do? Why? Not that I'm second guessing you. I just want a reason. You wanted to be a hero. This is how we do it. This is how we keep people safe. With the virus gone, Waller won't see you as much of a threat. Well, I don't like the sound of that. She's going around telling lies, pinning murders on me. She has to pay for what she's done. I could put just the slightest hint of virus in Waller's shampoo, or maybe her perfume. Technically, I'd still be giving her the virus. I only want to see her melt. A little liquefy her insides. I thought I made it clear. Heroes don't resort to murder to solve their problems. Oh god, <laughs> but it's so effective. Joker totally forgot to remember that, guys. I don't know. Dr. Leland did say I had trouble letting things go. No issue. So what am I supposed to do? Give up my grudges! What am I gonna lie awake at night stewing over them? It just makes me so angry! You have to rein in your darker impulses. That pain will only rot you from the inside out. Uh. Well, if you say it's the right thing to do, I'm surprised he's actually handing it over. I'm trusting you on this. Now, right here. And it fits perfectly right in that slot. That's it? That's it. Completely inert now. Joker, Bruce and I need a moment. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, check the perimeter. I'm relieved to see he listens to you. You can balance him out. Just don't take your eyes off him. Toast is clear. Waller has leverage on me. We need a countermeasure. Perhaps someone on the inside can help. Someone who's lost faith in Waller's crusade. You have someone on the inside. Okay, so we got Agent Blake. Agent Harrison. Oh, he's the one who just died, isn't he? Jim Gordon. I was actually just about to say, I wonder what Gordon's up to. I'm not sure he could help us right now. Avesta, she's like the clear choice, right? Harley Quinn, why? Okay, so this is just all my contacts, I guess. Selena Kyle is unaffiliated. Hmm. Can we call all these people? Let's try and call Selena. Selena Kyle. MIA since escaping the murder box in the subway. Right. Harley Quinn? Harleen Quinzel. Currently in the agency's custody after the incident on the bridge. God, they better be treating her right. She's not the best with rules. Or authority. Or cafeteria timing. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I'm liking this recap of everybody. I think she's the actual pick, so let's just skip over her for now. Jim Gordon, formerly commissioner. Jim has no love for Waller, but without being on the inside, it's a long shot he'd be able to help. Yeah, my thoughts as well. This guy, I think, is dead. Agent Harrison, deceased, courtesy of Bane. That was brutal, man. He was like, eat pavement, bitch. That was like some American History X shit that he did to him. Agent Blake, Agent Avesta's partner. It's possible that means he'd have an axe to grind with Waller. 
but it's not safe to confide in him since he went after Bruce Wayne. Mm, okay. Agent Avesta. Agent Amon Avesta. She changed her tune about Waller after the raid on the Sanctus facility. If she's looking for a way to fight back, you could give it to her. She's our best bet. Waller's threatened to reveal my identity if I don't hand over Joker and the virus. I need some information on her. Something to negotiate with. Well, you came to the right person. When do you need it? I'm meeting her at the GCPD in two hours. Meet me on the roof in one. I'll have a little present for you. Ooh. We're taking the Batmobile? We're taking the Batmobile? <laughs> oh, I am loving every second of this, guys. This is such a cool story. I gotta say, though, there's no way that Joker actually stays a quote-unquote hero for this whole story, right? Like, at some point, he has to have a turning point and just give in to his darker impulses and become the Joker that we all know. And then we're gonna have to take him out. Like, there's no other way this ends, right? I don't know. I'm very excited to find out, though. This is fucking cool. down Waller. Joker and Batman, heroes of Gotham. <laughs> We're not here for a fight. You need to make yourself scarce. Waller is only a few floors below us. All right, I'll do the dignified thing and hide. So if things go south, I can surprise them from the shadows. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That man just no, shaking his head. I, I know. I I just need a place to stay for a little while. It's just. Why had car paid up when I'm Maman? Maman, Maman. Look, don't worry about it. It's only a job. You just need to get paid up when I'm hope. Yeah, it's. It's hard. I'm gonna try and find somewhere in Gotham. Very man, let me do now. Hop, are, are, right? Yeah, me do now. I, I'm sorry. I have to go. I'll call you later, okay? Batman, I'm glad you came. <sighs> Waller's really gonna do it. If you don't give her Joker, she'll shout your identity from the rooftops. I know you said that things were okay between us, but I can't shake the feeling I'm to blame. After the fallout with Harley at the bridge, now this... I'm sorry I told Waller your secret. Let me make it up to you. I found something on Waller. Something big. I threw together a document. Details just how dirty her hands are. Sanctus, the experiments, Riddler. It's a little unbelievable, but it's worse than I thought. When the agency initially dissolved Sanctus, Waller was responsible for cleanup. In public record, she did exactly that. But that isn't what happened. No. She saved samples and data. She just couldn't let it go. Not when it had so much potential. And someone from Sanctus got their hands on it. She's to blame for all of this. If she had just done her job and destroyed the virus, none of this would have happened. Nice work, Amon. Alright, so... Let's just read through this real quick together, guys. So we got... Compiled from various sources, detailing Waller's illegal transgressions while acting as head of the agency. Justice Department memo. Waller agreed to dismantle Sanctus. Uh, internal agency document describing the process in which the Sanctus research is to be salvaged. FBI documents contradict each other. Two scientist whistleblowers who were set to testify against Waller went missing. Months later, the first FBI document says they entered the witness relocation program. Only a week after, that same department claims they have no record of either scientist. Whereabouts currently unknown. So, they went missing. <laughs> uh, internal agency document codenamed The Devil You Own. 
details the creation of lethal shot callers to control known criminals, described as a new form of house arrest for more violent offenders, but were used for a very different purpose. Shredded document which has been repaired, the agency admits to using human test subjects during the time when Sanctus was active, but goes on to describe how a few subjects were kept after Sanctus was dissolved for further monitoring. Redacted documents, source unknown, attempted admission of Riddler's true name on list of agency assets and current programs. So this is basically just a, a long list of dirt that we can use against Waller. I've seen enough. With this in your pocket, Waller loses her leverage over you. Thank you, Amon. I guess it's all over now. It's only a matter of time before Waller realizes what I've done. She'll want to keep this buried, so it's unlikely she'll take this to internal affairs. But that won't stop her from ending my career. Or from making my life a nightmare. Oh. God. I remember begging Waller for the Gotham assignment. It's funny how quickly things change. Come work with me. We'd be lucky to have you. At Wayne Enterprises? Or should I get fitted for body armor? I'd go with Wayne Enterprises. Better benefits. I might take you up on that. Thank you. Well, it's just you and Waller now. Hopefully the next time I see you, it will be to talk about my salary. I totally thought that dialogue meant, like, working with Batman. Well, well, <laughs> well. Sorry to interrupt. Not only are you aiding and abetting a wanted criminal, you corrupted one of my most loyal agents. Someone I trusted. Someone I took under my wing. And you did this for what? To throw away such a promising career. You don't deserve loyalty, Waller. From Iman or anyone else. I need to be able to count on those working for me. Or the whole castle starts to crumble. You crossed a line, Batman. You helped that maniac escape with the virus. The virus is destroyed. I saw to it myself. Destroyed? Fine. Well, I don't see John Doe wrapped up in a bow. Are you here to take his place? Because that's not what I asked for. I'm pretty sure I was clear on that. I came to put an end to this. It's over, Waller. Shame. I guess we'll do this <laughs> the hard way. Oh shit. They all work for me now. A special task force for special problems. Oh for Suicide Squad? Even your old friend Catwoman. What? Hey, Bats. You're outmatched. Time to stop this foolishness and get back into line. With the rest of the team. You intolerable. I don't want to work with that gloomy ink blot. I don't respond to terrorists. Way too many issues. They don't intimidate me, and neither do you. Then let's go, Bats. Let's see what you got. Oh, you're confident, Batman. But then you'd have to be with the crap you pulled. This is wrong, Waller. You can't use criminals to do your dirty work. Why should good people die fighting the likes of them? Or the likes of you and John Doe? You put my people in the hospital, protecting a maniac who killed at least three of my agents. A maniac who stabbed me in the gut. You're on the wrong side of this. You have to see that. Well, those are actually pretty good points. But still, you suck. Don't preach at me, Waller. I know how corrupt you really are. What do you mean? What did she tell you? There's nothing on me I can't handle. Whatever you think you've got will bounce off me like rain off an armored truck. You know why they call me the Wall, Batman? Because you can't break through me. I stand tall no matter what you throw my way. You think I haven't dealt with more impressive threats than you? You're a pawn, Batman. I'm the god. <laughs> You're sawed off, bitch. You know if your superiors see this, it destroys your career. <laughs> what do you want? I want you and the agency out of Gotham today.
okay. With the virus gone, my work here is done. I'll order my people to pack That's up. That's not all. Uh-oh. Don't push it, Batman. I still know your identity. This is a stalemate, not a rout. Uh, oh, uh, mm, uh. Let Cagwoman go. She helped against the pact. She's not like the others. Oh, please. You're asking me to let a wanted criminal out on the streets? So unlike you. I'll tell you what. You want your little friend? I'll give her to you. On one condition. Hand over dough. You know he'll be better off locked away. Better for himself and for everyone else. Otherwise, we're even. Me and my people are out of this godforsaken town. I won't look back. I won't betray you. Not even for that. Then our business is concluded. For now. Sorry, Catwoman. I tried. No! 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 That's not acceptable! Not at all! He wants Harley. What the hell? It's John Doe. Oh, put in! Come out, come out, wherever you are! The biggest villain in Gotham right in front of you! And you're just letting her waltz on out of town? That is so very disappointing! You're a hypocrite! You're letting her off the hook because of what? Because she has a badge? You'll be safer when she's gone. We all will. You're letting her off the hook! You think you're some kind of force for justice, Joker? Don't you see how ridiculous that is? What's ridiculous is that anyone believes your lies! You blame me for your crimes! When you both know you killed Riddler! Are you serious? Think whatever you want. You will never be a hero. How dare you? You're worse than me. That makes me the hero. And this is what heroes do to villains. What are you doing? Doing what you apparently can't. Shining a light on the shadiest part of Gotham. Uh, uh, got it. Kill him with pleasure. Not yet. <laughs> the agency gave me a little upgrade. What do you think? Not a fan. All right, take her down, Bats. Come on. Let go, you oversized rat. Yeah, that's right. Right in the ovaries. Ovarian delight. Twice I've saved your life, Joker. Batman, the caller. Yeah, that's what we need. Get that shit. Yeah, there we go. What? Oh, come on. Catwoman, detain Batman. The rest of you. Take care of Doe. 
consider this karma. I'm sorry. I knew you'd escape. I thought you'd be able to get away. And I was right, by the like way. I get away from Gordon and the cops? Funny how your calls always put me in harm's way. Should have cut the whip. Back off, cat lady. That's enough. You're cornered, Batman! Give up, Joker! Now! Or I'll take you both down! Last chance! <laughs> <laughs> you think you have us cornered? Oh, shit. <laughs> no! Get out of the way! Move! Batman! What are you doing? Only a time for one? Okay. Batman, no! I wonder if that choice mattered. I didn't even know. I just went for the nearest one. Jesus, guys, how did that all go so wrong all of a sudden? I don't know why I can't bring myself to give up Joker. Like, it's, it's clear that he's constantly just teetering on the edge of total insanity and criminality. I just, I don't want to let it go. And I feel so bad because every time I have a chance to help Catwoman, I just, I can't quite do it because there's, there's something else I got to do. Batman, no! Joker's getting away! He's got Waller! Get my bearings, okay. <coughs> oh man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's so bad. Is anybody gonna help me with this, or...? Oh. My penis just shriveled up inside itself. Batman. It's like a little turtle head. Oh my god. Together. On my count. One. Two, three. Good. Again. Okay, last time. Okay. This is going to suck so bad. We got to do it, though. Get you to a hospital. Bat suit. Seal. <laughs> Batmobile. It'll get me home. Okay, I'll get help. Please just hang in there. Batman. Batman! Yeah, I'm pretty fucked right now, aren't I? That is brutal, guys.
that was almost worse than some of the parts in The Walking Dead in terms of the ugh factor. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Joker, what have you done? You've ruined everything. I was trying to help you. I was trying to be your friend, but I don't know if there's any coming back from this. <sighs> Alfred, I'm awake. Uh, a guy walks into a doctor's office. A guy says, uh, Doc, I've got this thing with my hands. They won't stop shaking and it's, it's driving me mad. And the, uh, the doctor says, Have you been drinking a lot? And the guy says, <laughs> No, not, uh, not really. Oh, no. Not you two. I guess Joker's made an impression on everyone. <clears throat> oh, no, no. And this was in my repertoire long before Joker. Uh, almost prescient of me. When you were just a little taller than my knee, I'd tell it and you'd laugh and laugh. I thought I was quite hilarious. I haven't seen you laugh like that in a long while. Batman doesn't laugh. I decided my bedside manners could use some adjustment. <sighs> Admonishing you never seems to get us anywhere. Try not to move until the painkillers settle in. That leg still needs to heal, as do the third, eighth, and tenth ribs. How did I get here? Agent Avesta. She managed to get you into the Batmobile. The car arrived here, and, and I tended to you. It must be nice to be reminded that you have friends you can count on. And then there are friends who do things like this. He could have killed you. Yeah. He nearly did. I hate to say it, but... Maybe he really is a lost cause. You should see the news. Computer, bring up all live news feeds. Filter for the word Joker. Gotham is still picking up the pieces after a man calling himself Joker led an assault on the GCPD. There has been no confirmation whether Amanda Waller, director of the agency, is still alive. The pursuit led onto the sidewalk where frightened citizens don't recover. Officers chased the madman for hours after the attack, we know but that lost him in the chaos. Eleven people were seriously this injured. This incident has many wondering, who is the Joker? Where did he come from? And where will his reign of terror end? You advised him to try and rein in his urges. Reports have confirmed eight casualties. It appears to have fallen on deaf ears. It seems so. You helped make him, you know. Excuse me? This Joker? From the start, John has hung on your every word. Bend over backwards to please you. Your influence is everywhere in him. Even the part of you that is darkest. Uh, <laughs> and now he is that. Yeah, I think that's unfair. I really do. That's not fair, Alfred, and you know it. Whatever John has become, you can't put that I'm on me. I'm not putting it all on you. Perhaps just more than you're willing to admit yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry, I... I shouldn't have said all that to you, the, the shape you're in. I've had too much time to think while you've been recovering. No, it's, it's fine, Alfie. I appreciate your honesty. Careful now. All the way up, Batman. It's time to meet your new partner. <laughs> Sorry, my what? Uh, uh, that was your cue, dear. Uh, did you not... I'm not ready! <laughs> yes. Robin? Is my partner. I was hesitant at first, but I just couldn't talk her out of it, Bruce. She has your drive, your passion. Just like when you became Batman. That's a difficult thing to say no to. At least hear her out. Fuck it, man. All right. I'm trusting you on this one. If you think something like this can work, then I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh. I'm not sure about this at all, but I wasn't sure about Batman either. I may have my doubts, but 
You need the help right now, and I mean you to have it. <clears throat> yeah, so... I have so many questions right now, guys. You have to put a stop to him, Bruce. I know you will, but... Whatever feelings you may have had for John, don't let him use them against you. You can't allow him to cloud your judgment. Uh... You don't know John like I do. He still considers me his best friend. He wouldn't abuse that. He's a killer, Bruce. A maniac who kidnapped the head of the world's top intelligence agency. You can't go on blind hope that he will be the man you once knew. Yeah, you're probably right, Alfie. I just, I want to save him so bad. I want him to be good. While you were out, I've kept abreast of the authorities' search for Joker and his associates. Examine locations to find a clue to Joker's current whereabouts. Okay. So we can look at Arkham Asylum, Subway Lair, Stacked Deck. That's that casino, right? And the Fun House. Well, that seems like an obvious place to start. Waller set up a stake out of the Fun House after her agent's bodies were found. She has people there around the clock. So probably not that place then. Okay. Uh, as for the GCPD, they've investigated John's other favorite haunt, the Stacked Deck. Interviews there yielded nothing useful, other than the fact John and a few of his regulars he's recruited to his cause haven't frequented the establishment in over a week or so. Look at Joker's accomplices. Willie Deaver on the left, and that's Frank Dumfrey. All right. We're gonna save Arkham Asylum for last, I think. The agency searched the subway lair the Pact had been using. They found nothing and raised what was left to the ground. Yeah, so that place is pretty much done. John has often mentioned he misses Arkham. Maybe he's hiding there. I, I thought of that. I'm afraid our own drone network has come up empty in a search of the asylum grounds and its catacombs. John's gone to ground and in none of the usual places that we know about. I'm done. My word. Well, you certainly look the part. Just wait till you see what it can do. Oh my god. Bruce, are you okay? Don't worry. It looks worse than it is. Yes, you get used to him lying like this, unfortunately. Is this... Is this what happens to you all the time? No, I was born this way, bitch. <laughs> uh, we should probably be honest with her. Alfred's right, Tiffany. This happens all the time. Me getting hurt or almost killed. And this time he's telling the truth. It's a long shot, but the water tower where Joker set his ambush for the agency. It's still an active crime scene. With a little bit of luck, there may be something there I can use to track him. I'm coming with you. Chemical sniffers, advanced sensor suites, early warning defense nodes, all with sync capability directly to your cow. It scans and catalogs evidence in a nanosecond. Maybe even faster than the back computer. It's even got some defensive options. Non-lethal, of course. Okay. It sounds like a plan. I won't let you down. I won't let either of you down. Let's get to work. I really hope we don't get her kill. <laughs> You'll need these. For the pain. <laughs> Thanks, Alfie. You, uh, you're forgetting something.
Yeah, I don't know about that mask. Although, I will admit, it looks way more effective at hiding your identity than the traditional Robin mask. I was kind of hoping they would actually make her a Robin. I guess she's just going to be her own entity. I'm not sure if she's supposed to be a callback to some kind of comic book character. None that I'm familiar with, guys. And there's been at least two female Robins that I know about. So it would have been cool to have her come in as a third, but... Yeah. Also, I just want to say I really like the choreography and the cutscenes in this game. They're so like comic bookish, but I mean that in a good way, you know? Like really stylistic. They look like a comic book springing to life, which is perfect. Nervous. Isn't everyone before their first crime scene? How do you, I mean, how do we do this? Yeah, she should really have some kind of training or something. <laughs> this is probably a mistake. Watch what I do, and keep cool. Easier said than done. You'll get the hang of it. How do I sound? Oh god, that's not how it's supposed to sound! <laughs> that needs some work. You'll get it. Maybe just don't talk. At least for right now. <laughs> Batman, I didn't expect to see you here. And this is? She's with me, Detective. We might not be able to give you a lot of time. With Waller kidnapped and me getting canned, no one's sure whose jurisdiction this crime scene falls under. The agencies or the GCPDs. So for now, let's go ahead and say it's yours, all right? My people are here to help however they can. Hell yeah! Good to see you too, Jim. Glad you're here, Jim. I had heard. Technically, I'm not here. Not in an official capacity, anyway. Working outside of the law. Let me know if you need any pointers. <laughs> what should we be looking for? After the pack separated, Joker had to find somewhere else to hide. There could be clues here that tell us where that is. And where he may have taken Waller. All right, let's see this super awesome instant evidence scanning drone of yours. So this partnership between you and Batman, when did that happen? It's new. Seriously, what is she going by though? She needs a name. Oh boy, we got a lot of stuff to look at here, guys. All right, let's start with the car. Forensics ran it through the system. Found it was stolen from the stacked deck a few weeks ago. I recognize it. It's been customized since then. My drone can analyze it. Just point and I'll shoot. All right. What happened here? Joker hit Bane with his car. Eesh. I'll be out of insurance. Good one, Jim. Get some details on this paint. Funny. Doesn't look like a rush job. Because it's not. The drone sees a body shop quality strip below the top layer. The paint uses a stripping solvent that hasn't met compliance standards since. I'll run a check on manufacturers in the area, see who's recently been dinged for safety regulations. This much data, we're gonna need something to narrow it down. Like a name. Kids are natural at this. Not bad, Rook. Not bad at all. Custom plates. Probably didn't get this done at the DMV. <laughs> Lil Puddin? Must be his way of remembering his time with Harley. Ah, uh, Jim Gordon, comedy relief. I love it. Huh. This car is hotwired. It's a mess. Well, you think a guy like him would have stolen a car before? He's unconventional. That's one way to put it. What's the other way, Jim? Hmm. Someone was thirsty. What do you think? Wanna run DNA? No. We already know who it belongs to. 
We do? I miss this, you know. You and me raking over a crime scene. Oh, I messed it up, didn't I? Now, in the early days when we were chasing you, not realizing you were one of the good guys, you and I came to an agreement. We'd work together to make Gotham safer. I lost my head the other day. I want you to know I'm sorry. I cracked, like I said I would when Waller first moved in. I said and did some things I'm not proud of. And I regret it. You were just doing what you thought was right, Jim. There's nothing to apologize for. You're a good man for saying that. Yeah, you know, I think we both kind of made some mistakes. I've missed this too. And I'm just glad that we're cool again. Got something interesting. It's a faint signal. Okay, so she's got a signal over there. Wow, there's so much stuff to look at, guys. Okay. Retrieve the broken battering. Or... What's up with all these... Oh, the, it's a whole trail of venom. Oh, that's what a lot of these are. Alright. Looks like it was crushed. Is that a boot print? It's tungsten steel, though. Hard to break that just by stepping on it. Bane's a big boy. Remarkable craftsmanship. And silver filigree. He's become quite the showman these days. John Doe doesn't seem particularly crafty. I was just thinking that. Oh, maybe they had a shop class in Arkham. They don't. Yeah, that means he got that shit from somewhere. He has associates and we need to find them. Um, okay, we're not gonna go up the stairs yet. Let's check out this, uh... Actually, okay, we're gonna save the Venom Trail for last. Let's look at everything else first, I guess. Caller controller. The controller to the shot callers that Waller's using on the Pact. Damaged. Can you isolate the signal from this device? Sure, but why? I've seen what these callers can do might come in handy yes yes that's perfect appropriate that signal and we will be in control of all of them all right over here we got a knife joker's knife must have lost it after he went into a frenzy against bane john doe thought he could take on bane he's not half bad in the fight actually bane's blood won't lead us to joker yeah, and also, he's out of his freaking mind, so that helps. Nothing of note. Good to know. What's up here? Scorch marks. Electrical burns. From the agency guns? Hmm. Right. They were firing wildly. It's a subpar design for a firearm. Too prone to misfire. Electrical discharge heats the barrel too quickly, causing erratic fire patterns. Ah, so you're also an expert on guns. I've designed a few myself, actually. <laughs> Gordon's like, hmm, maybe you should come work for me. All right, Venom Trail. Drone. Bane's Venom. His suit was punctured. It's everywhere. Is it useful? No. Not in finding Joker. I'll add it to ignore on the drone search filters. Alright. I believe that is everything down here, unless I can walk out this way? No. She's standing guard. She's not letting anybody in or out. Let's just take one more quick look back this direction. Um, look at the car again. Do we... We don't need to do that, do we? What does that do? That just sends us back in here. That doesn't accomplish anything. Okay. I like how they all gather around. Oh, what's this? Broken fence. That's a big hole. That's what she said. Caused by a very large man. Wait. 
Okay, now we can go up the stairs. Okay, welcome Agency Pigs. Welcome Agency Pigs. <laughs> Here I thought that was our nickname. I guess that's kind of the nickname for pretty much anybody on, you know, this side of the law. Hmm, not sure Riddler would like the new decor. This Joker guy going nuts. I heard it started with Riddler's murder, but he's blaming Waller for it. Wouldn't actually surprise me. Riddler's murder? Really? But maybe it was always just a matter of time before he snapped. It was her. It was her. Oh my god, I just realized it, guys. She's the one who killed Riddler. It makes all the sense in the world. Holy shits. Because Joker and Waller both seem pretty genuine in the fact that it wasn't them. Riddler killed her father way back in episode one. You guys remember that shit? Riddler was responsible for blowing up uh, Lucius Fox who is her father, and also, she designs guns. She killed Riddler. Calling it right now, it seems clear as day now. A maker's mark. W.D. Willie Deaver, Joker's associate. What do you have on him? Machinist by trade, with a storied employment history. He's been fired from almost every factory and chemical plant in Gotham. Has a drinking problem, apparently. Chemical plants? Huh. Let me cross-reference Willie Deaver's former employers with the paint used on Joker's car. Ace Chemicals. Their main plant was shut down last year after the city cited them for multiple safety violations. Because of the paint. The plant's been abandoned ever since. Perfect hiding spot. We found him. Well, well, well. What's all this then? A bat and a walking mustache trespassing on my crime scene. You escaped. <laughs> you got it all wrong, baddie boy. I'm here on agency business. <sighs> For the love of God. That's right. I'm one of the good guys now. So hand over everything you found before I knock out those pearly whites. In the name of the law. Nope. Batman, we don't have time to mess around with this clown. Make time, Kappa. You all take orders from me now. I don't take orders from you, Quinn. Stand down. Let me show you how things work around here now, Batsy. This is Agent Quinn. Suppressing fire. Okay, that's pretty impressive. so I can get back to my job. After all, Johnny Boy and I are due for a nice, long talk. Poor guy's falling in with the wrong crowd. You don't have a hold over him anymore, Harley. He's over you. He's over me? Oh, please. <laughs> and here I thought being diplomatic would work with you people. Oh, well, I'll try something you can understand. I need to... You cops can't just shoot people like that. I'm off duty. <laughs> Hello? What's the girl gotta do to get some firepower? The hell? Yeah, bitch. I can hack those collars in my sleep. <laughs> nice job, Tiffany. Maybe keep doing it? Please? You son of a- Latoya! Got it, sir. What 
the hell do you think you're doing? Sending you off to Blackgate, where you belong. <laughs> oh, please! The agency isn't gonna let me sit in a cell. I'm an asset. I'm gonna get what I want, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. You can't touch me, Bats. I'm the one in control here. Not you, not the GCPD. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work out great. <laughs> yeah, it will. You hear me? It will! Go find Joker before he carves up Waller. I'll clean up this mess. Have your people hold back until I call them. Waller's life may depend on a stealthy approach. <sighs> Batman. Good hunting. I should probably take some of them painkillers, man. And also, my suit is pretty beat up. I wonder if I haven't, like, repaired or cleaned it since the start of this season. Five episodes ago. I haven't really been keeping mental track of that, but... That would actually be pretty cool if, like, the damage you got from the whole season was consistent. You know, up through the entire season. And I wonder if Harley's done for good now. It seemed like maybe she was... Kind of getting written out of the story right there. Like, she's going to Blackgate... And that's the end of that. But then they still have Bane and Catwoman working for the agency. Which, I don't know if they've ever been part of the Suicide Squad, canonically. That's a really cool shot right there. That looks like a freaking oil painting. That's awesome. That Joker laugh, though. Batman. Got a visual on Joker and Waller. Doesn't look like he's hurt her. Not yet. I'm in the rafters, out of sight. Say the word if you need help. Thanks. Bruce, I know you and Waller have your differences, but she doesn't deserve this. Alright. I guess we're just gonna walk in there. This isn't... This doesn't strike me as super stealthy, but... Let's do it. I take complete responsibility. Louder, so the camera can pick it up. Took you long enough. Batman! Thank God! I mean, I assumed you'd be okay. You're Batman, for Pete's sake. But still, are you okay, buddy? I was really worried about you. You nearly killed me when you blew up that roof. Sorry about that. I just got a little carried away. I had to do something. Waller was about to walk away. But get this. I'm this close to getting Waller to admit to every terrible thing she's ever done. And when that's over, I'll deliver her punishment. It'll, of course, have to reflect the enormity of her crimes. The only enormity I'm seeing is your jail sentence. God, I really don't like you. Waller needs to go to trial. Maybe spend the rest of her life in a cell, but not whatever this is. Do you know how long that would take? You know, I, I don't know why you're not more into this. Think of everything she's put you through. Everyone is disposable to her, even her own agents. I know I've made mistakes. You try to do the right thing, but there's always a cost. Just ask your pal Batman there. He'll say the same thing. Yeah, that's pretty true. I do what I do for a reason. I'm not ashamed. Don't play innocent. I play to win. When I lose, good people die. You're totally right. She sucks! <laughs> Let's keep the show rolling. We've heard your excuses. You didn't mean for people to get hurt. Collateral damage, yada yada yada. What? There's one crime that can't be excused. You 
killed the Riddler. Nope. And then you tried to pin it on me. Didn't kill him. Like I said. It was you! You killed Riddler! Say it! I will not. There's one thing I learned by watching you. Violence solves a lot of problems. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Tiffany, get him! No! Damn it, Batman! Stay out of my way! You need a distraction. Well, I get my confession. The way Boss talked about you, I thought you'd be better. That's what she said? Fuck, that was cool. <laughs> Not much of a distraction there, Joker. You move, she dies. Try really, really hard to do things your way. No, you're not. I want to just slice her throat right here, right now. But I'm getting proof of her guilt just for you. This isn't my way. Really? Today, this isn't your way? You're just saying things, trying to trip me up. Just like Waller. She justifies her crimes, says they're for the greater good. Just like you. You both use that word, justice, as an excuse. So you can do whatever you want. I thought you and I we're two threads in the same stitch. But it's not me. It's her. I am justice. What I do keeps Gotham from becoming the swamp it once was. I've given everything to protect this city. Delusions of grandeur much. Yet another thing you have in common with Waller. Trying to do things your way was a mistake. Waller killed Riddler. <gasps> He deserved death! It wasn't Waller! Tiffany? I can't let someone else pay for my crimes. Waller didn't kill Riddler. Dun dun dun. I did. I know it was wrong. Now. Oh God, are you kidding me? These are the people you want to protect. I should kill them both. Everyone here. Is guilty. <laughs> this is a, this is a joke. Leave them out of this, Joker. This is about you and me. Tell that to your distraction over there. I used a drone, and these. There's your proof. You want to sacrifice yourself for Waller? Then go ahead. Ooh. Just hold on. Murder is wrong. Trust the system. Violence isn't the answer. People just pick and choose what they believe. And you're no different. Oh, shit. Got him. That was so cool. Damn, guys. God damn, I don't know what to say! Stay down. Please. It's over. Huh? That's your best pep talk. Just give up on your dreams. Stand for nothing. I believed in you, Batman. Like I never believed in 
anything. And it was all a lie! Oh my god! Holy shit! Wow. Yeah, you gotta go down, buddy. Yeah. Right through the body armor, huh? Tense. Max voltage, bitch! Someone you actually 
actually care about. Of course. Of course you were my friend. <laughs> you are one messed up guy. <laughs> <laughs> That was insane, guys. I don't even know what to say about everything that just happened. Wow. I feel so bad that I couldn't save him. That I couldn't keep him as a hero. I guess it was just destined to be this way. I guess Waller was right in the end, which really makes me sick to my stomach. I should have just turned him in a long time ago. <laughs> I think the circumstances allow. Gordon was telling me how you found me. Sounds like top drawer detective work. It was a team effort. Batman led the charge. It's not easy to say this, but it looks like you saved my life. I guess that puts me in your debt. No. It's what I do. I save people. It's a shame we couldn't have saved more. I've got a lot of unpleasant phone calls to make. Jim, would you mind giving us a minute? Batman and I have some unfinished business. I'll go check on Joker's transfer, make sure they don't take any chances. Just try not to rip each other's heads off, okay? We can all play nice now that the bad guy's in cuffs. You don't have to worry. Our stalemate from the roof still stands. I'm pulling out of Gotham effective immediately. Good. Then why are we still talking? Tiffany Fox. Riddler's death may have caused a lot of problems, but I won't make her pay for it. I'll leave that to the man who can't stand killing. I know you think I'm the devil, but I want you to understand. I didn't want... I didn't see things going down like this. I let the mission get out from under me. Never really regained a solid footing. Watch out, Waller. Or you might stumble onto an actual apology. You let me talk, we might get there. I just came here to round up the pact. Quick and easy. And if Riddler led you to Sanctus, that would have been a bonus. Listen. Everything I did, I did for the greater good. To protect Gotham, to uphold the law, to make the world a safer place. Whatever your reasons, you went too far. You escalated things on the bridge. You got people killed. And coming after me? What were you thinking? You sided with that maniac. What was I supposed to do? Give you a medal? You act so high and mighty. At the end of the day, you're just a rich guy with all the toys beating up on lunatics. I deal with criminals who threaten my city. You're so far up your own ass, you can't see the truth. You're as nuts as any of them. Avesta had you pegged the minute she walked in your office. She started listing off your pals. All those friends of yours who went cuckoo. You didn't even flinch. Because you're one of them. <laughs> Don't fool yourself, Waller. You are too. Yeah. I know exactly what I am. I choose not to live in denial. We're done here. Signal the withdrawal. I'm not gonna miss her, that's for sure. So, here we are once again. Got them safe because of you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good getting my hands dirty. Just like old times, huh? Truth is, after I got ousted, I didn't know my place anymore. 
turned into an old guy in civvies, lurking around crime scenes. I'm trying to stay useful. We have to work together, Jim. Solve cases, lock up the scum who terrorize our streets. I'd like that. So would I. Oh, uh, I gotta take this. Wife probably saw the news. <laughs> See you around, Batman. Don't be a stranger. Alright, man. I'm glad we got that resolved, at least. We still gotta deal with Tiffany, though. Jesus, I have so many thoughts swirling through my head right now, guys. I really like the whole sequence in Ace Chemicals, because, like, every Batman story ever has to have an Ace Chemicals scene in it, right? And this one was really good. I really liked their take on the whole Joker falling into the vat of toxic chemicals. <laughs> Except this time he was able to grapple the way. <laughs> really cool. You can do fun stuff when you have a Joker who can do all the same stuff that Batman can do, right? With, like, the batarangs and the grapples. Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I saw you take much worse. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? No, actually. I just couldn't keep it in anymore. That's what she said. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Hmm. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder. I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Doesn't matter. Please tell me you get that. Nothing justifies taking a life. Not even a need for revenge. I was hoping because we both loved my dad. You'd be more flexible. That's not how it works. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together. I can't sacrifice my, my morals, guys. I can't do it. You need to face justice, Tiffany. I wish I didn't have to, but I'm turning you in. You do that to me? You'll get your day in court. Just like any other criminal. That's what I thought you'd say. You gonna run? But like any other criminal. You'll have to catch me first. She hacked it. 
Wow. You know, I saw that choice coming, but I didn't see that outcome coming. <laughs> Season three, I guess. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. Uh, temporarily, right? I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Fuck. So... Take a back seat from the operations. Put your feet up for a while. Keep us stocked with cucumber sandwiches and tea. And just stand idly by while your enemies rend you limb from limb. Do a little dusting while you bleed out on the Batcave floor. I don't think so. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. Now everything has become so gray. Ray, talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. Well, it worked, didn't it? In a manner of speaking. You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away. Inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's your point? Sometimes it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. He must be drunk. Oh, please. There were plenty of criminals around before Batman showed up. I put most of them in jail. Two-Face, Cobblepot, Lady Arkham, Joker, all they have in common is you. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better, as if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. We put her in danger on her first day, dodging machine guns at a crime scene, the lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. That's a price I'm willing to pay. In war, there are always casualties. But it doesn't mean you give up the fight. I have served in my share of wars, Bruce. More even than you. There are some fights you cannot win. One thing is for certain. My tremors are gone. <laughs> That's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. 
I'm more certain of that with every passing day. No, that's crap. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. No. I Come on, man. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. This is fucked. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Oh, fuck. Guys! This breaks my heart. This absolutely breaks my heart, guys. But I can't not be Batman. I can't do it. You're right, Al. It's who I am. I will always be Batman. And that will never change. I know. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday. And there's lasagna in the freezer. I'm sure you'll manage it. Oh my god, that is so hauntingly beautiful. Darkest before the dawn, guys. Darkest before the dawn. Fuck. I love that. This is great. That was a great game. Wow, over the season your relationships have been affected by your actions and decisions within the story. Let's evaluate our choices, guys. Evaluating your relationship choices, okay. This is some Quentin Tarantino shit. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're troubled. <laughs> okay. Me and 50.1% of players dismissed her importance to the agency. Harley was ecstatic that the heist at Wayne Enterprises went off without a hitch. She was furious that the pack abandoned her at the, uh... Abandoned her at the agency convoy raid. Sorry. Harley genuinely came to trust you after you exposed Catwoman as the thief of Riddler's laptop. Harley was heartbroken when you convinced John to subdue her. While she still works for the agency, Harley worries she's just another one of Waller's pawns. Okay. Thunderbolt! I'm the whole goddamn hurricane! So 40.2% of us remain in a stalemate with her. Waller was pleased that you endorsed her authority by interrogating Riddler's henchmen at the GCPD. She disapproved of you calling Gordon after your first fight with Bane. Waller was thankful that you maintained your cover with the pack for as long as you could. She declared you an enemy of the state for siding with John Doe on the Gotham Bridge, and though you're still a mate with Waller Stan, she left Gotham as your enemy. This is kind of like giving us a recap of the entire season. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me, and I can't stand it! Only 60% of us accepted Gordon's apology. Hey, 40% of you people out there, go fuck yourselves. 
Gordon was humbled that you would trust him with your secret association with Lucius Fox. When you interrogated Eli behind his back, Gordon felt betrayed, declaring your partnership over. Despite your recent falling out, he was surprised when you called him after Bane's initial attack. Gordon felt sick that he demanded you give up Catwoman to a GCPD ambush. He was grateful when you forgave him for losing his self-control and letting Waller get to him. I weighed my options, and what can I say? I don't like to lose. Okay, no, there's no way that's correct. 0.1% of players love Waller to keep Selena in her task force. Oh, come on. It can't be that low of a percentage. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> After her return to Gotham, Selena was relieved when you said you thought redemption was possible. After you neglected to warn her about a GCPD ambush, Selena felt an edge around you. Felt on edge around you. She was honored to be invited into the Batcave, your secret sanctum. Selena felt betrayed when you blamed her for the theft of Riddler's laptop. Yeah, we really fucked things up with her, guys. I I kind of wish I could go back and take back those choices because I, I ended up just kind of throwing her under the bus every time and I, I always felt like the other choice was better, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't in the end. Who can say? I won't let you down. And only 7.5% of us tried to bring Tiffany to justice. Wow, these are... These are some really odd statistics. Tiffany felt betrayed when you admitted your involvement in Lucius's death. She was worried for you when you told her to hide while you helped Harley steal the Phalanx key. After she realized you were working with the agency, she regretted calling the GCPD on you. She was at first confused, but then completely blown away when you told her you were Batman. Now Tiffany is a fugitive from justice after you tried to take her in for Riddler's murder. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't going to compromise on that. I can't work with murderers. Which, well, I guess I kind of did with John for a little bit. Because we were pretty sure he killed those people. In episode four, right? Uh, never mind about that. Criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? All right, about 55% of us asked her to come work for us. Avesta was traumatized by Riddler's game and the loss of her hearing. She was thankful you let it slide when she admitted she revealed your secret identity to Waller. She was intrigued that you trusted John Doe to find Harley after she escaped Sanctus. And after helping you blackmail Waller, Avesta is hopeful about a new position at Wayne Enterprises. Cool. If a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? So 58% of us let Alfred go rather than giving up Batman's crusade. That doesn't surprise me that much. I'm, I would have expected that to be pretty split down the middle. I mean, <sighs> Alfred is, is difficult to let go. He's the surrogate father, right? Like everybody loves Alfred. He's always there for us. He's the man. But Bruce Wayne can't be Batman. That's like the one crux thing I believe about Batman 100%. He can never not be Batman. He can't do it. After he watched the footage of Lucius' violent demise, Alfred was filled with vengeance. When you told Tiffany your secret, Alfred was relieved he no longer had to keep it from her. After collapsing in the Batcave, Alfred felt reassured when you agreed that he needed a vacation. He soon became gravely concerned by Batman's continued influence on the vigilante Joker. Alfred left Wayne Manor, anguished that your crusade against criminals would consume you. Mm, I'll miss you, bud. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. I really don't. We're two threads in the same stitch, bound together, even under strain. 54% <laughs> of players told Joker you were still friends. That pretty split down the middle as well. John was annoyed when you blew him off at Lucius' funeral, refusing to meet his friends. He was heartbroken when Harley was left behind in the convoy raid. John was grateful that you took his advice and blamed Catwoman for stealing Riddler's laptop. After you trusted him in the funhouse, John devoted himself to helping you clean up Gotham. And Joker thinks you're as crazy as he is for considering yourselves friends. <laughs> That's so perfect. That's so good. I love it. Alright, um... 70% of us saved Willy. 14.5% hesitated during Bane's attack. Wait. Oh, they didn't choose to save anybody. And then 15.4% saved Harrison. Hmm. Alright. So I was in the, the vast majority on that one. 77.4% of us took Tiffany into the field. 68.5% refused to hand over Joker. 58% of players chose never to give up being Batman. And 5.7% of players refused to hear Alfred's last words. So they just didn't pick anything? Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. 
55.1% defeated Vigilante Joker. So, yeah. That was pretty split down the middle, too. Got it. Photos collected. This is just scrolling on its own, guys. I can't... I can't control this. That's all of them? Okay. post credit scene, guys. Visitor for John Doe. What the hell is that? Joker's gonna be the new Alfred. <laughs> John, I'd like to hire you as my butler to come live in Wayne Manor and help me out. You've already got the training, so I know that you'll do the job well. You know how to use a batarang, you know how to use a grapple. What more do you need to know, really? Wow. Okay, guys, I know that this is already a super long video, <laughs> but I do just want to say that I really really like this. This is definitely in probably my top three stories about Batman and Joker together. You know, there's been a lot of investigation in Batman stories over the years about the relationship between Batman and Joker and how they kind of can't live without each other and kind of like sustain each other. One wouldn't exist without the other, yada yada, you know what I'm trying to say. And this story really dove into that in a major way about how like, you know, we didn't just directly caused Joker by dropping him into a vat of acid. We literally shaped him into what he was by trying to help him, no less. That was that was my goal the entire time. I really, really liked John Doe. I wanted to be his friend, and it just did not work out at all. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of disappointing. I wish it had been different, but it was never going to play out that way, you know? And it was just so cinematic. The, the, the writing was so good. It was... The dialogue was so good. The voice acting was so good. Like, they did an incredible job with this story. And I think the thing that impresses me the most about it is the murkiness of the morality of it. I was thinking a lot about, like, the things that Joker and Amanda Waller were saying about how, like, you know, uh, when Joker was talking about how, like, people use the word justice as an excuse to do whatever they want, he's 100% right about that. And I think that that's when the Joker is the most terrifying, is when... You can listen to some of the things he's saying and like, yeah, it's wrapped up in a big ball of crazy, but also, there's some truth in that too. It was the same way in my favorite movie, The Dark Knight. Joker was absolutely batshit crazy out of his mind in that movie, but he had some really good points about society and the way society works. I hate to say it, but it's just true. Um, it's really interesting when you consider that Batman, Amanda Waller, and Joker are all criminals. They're all vigilantes in their own way. They all just have different standards about how far they're willing to break the law. Joker is obviously the most sadistic. He's willing to go the farthest. He straight up murders fools. It's kind of like he was almost turning it into the Punisher in this series. Um, Amanda Waller maybe doesn't really straight up murder people. She's like one rung down on the ladder. She uses people for sure. She is not afraid to experiment on people against their will. She's probably killed a couple fools during her day, too. But I think she has a greater sense of justice than Joker does. And then the next bottom rung below that is Batman, who won't kill people, but is absolutely a criminal. Always has been. We break the law every single night we go out. We just have a different line about where we draw it for justice. And that's a really fascinating concept to me that, you know... In this story, nobody was really all that right or wrong. And they just... I, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. That, that's such a good story. When you, when it's not black or white like that, you're making these really difficult decisions. And they are really difficult. Um, I think this episode actually had some of the easiest decisions for me, though, out of the whole season. Just because I have a lot of core beliefs about what Batman is. I really hated to see Alfie go. But Bruce Wayne can't not be Batman. And, um, Alfred was totally right as well, you know? It was time for him to go, because the things that he was having to do for us 
were absolutely taking a toll on him. It's been it's been really obvious for a long time, and he's just a little too old at this point, I guess. His heart's not in it. You know, if he stayed with us, he was going to end up dead. And it's time for him to go and do something else. And maybe he'll be back. Who knows? Uh, there's no word yet on a season three, guys. I have to imagine there will be, though, because I understand that these Batman games do really, really well for Telltale. They're very well received, as they should be, because they're great. And season two actually came out pretty quickly after season one. I think the gap might have been like six or eight months. I might not be exactly right about that. But if there is a season three, you can absolutely look forward to me playing it on my channel. I will cover it the same way I've covered the first two seasons. And I hope you'll come back and enjoy it with me if it inevitably comes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been a really long, awesome series. If you're still here, you're a trooper. Thanks for sticking it out. I love you very much. I am Dude Long Couch, and I will catch you guys in whatever comes next. Take care.